Welcome back to the Independent Republican, Mike Graham, right here on Talk TV with you until one o'clock. Ian Collins coming up uh, after that. Rod Little is with us uh, from the Sun's column this morning, of course. He's written about Barnet Borough Council, uh, who have decided that they want to become known as the Borough of Fun, uh, which is almost laughable. You'd think it was an April Fool. Some of the news now, actually, Rod, you think, surely this is an April Fool. Nobody does April Fool jokes anymore because the actual news is so ridiculous. Well, it is, it is difficult. I mean... I try and write a satirical column, but I get out satirised by the people <laughs> who do it anyway. You know, it is very, very difficult. And it, but this is the thing. I mean, it's our local councils who, just like the museum curators we were talking about before, mm. they are not satisfied with filling in the potholes and collecting our bins. No. That's what they're there for. For 90% of the residents of any borough council, that's what they're there for. Mm. Uh, but they know. What, what, so what Barnet are going to do is uh, is they've decided they're going to be the borough of the borough of fun, yes. and the, 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 they've they've drawn up this big program, which presumably costs a lot of ratepayers or, or council tax money, uh, and it involves. So, what is this fun they're offering us? Mm. Communal singing. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be there. Cause well, it's that can be people. funny. It can be funny to watch it that. It can be funny, yeah. Communal singing, amateur dramatics, yeah. uh, choreographed exercises. It's like North Korea, yeah. man. They well, they might as, well call it, might as well call it the Ministry of Truth and be done with it, Mike. I mean, the point is that well, it's, yeah. it's all about... We had a caller, actually, earlier who nailed it um, uh, from uh, down in uh, south, of, south of, the, of the city, who basically said... Um, the, the government now do things we don't want them to do, yes. but they don't do the things that we voted them in to do. Yes, that's right. That's right. And it's exactly the case with the local councils. Mm. You know, nobody needs to be given fun. No. We, we, we can create our own fun, you know, by uh, running up behind pensioners and going boo or whatever, <laughs> you know, or all that kind of stuff. We can, we can create our own fun. We don't need these pencil-necked martinets to do it for yeah. us. No. What we do need them to do is to make sure, you know, we don't lose an axle on a, on a pothole right. and that our bins are collected regularly and without punctilious uh, inspectors telling us we've put a piece of paper in the wrong bin. And maybe, yeah, and maybe to turn up for, for work at the office every now and again. And maybe to turn up for work at the office, which is the other thing, of course, that local council employees uh, in, in the head office paid very, very well, have more time off, are more likely to take time off for illnesses than in the private sector yes. and get away with it um, and probably spend the rest of their time uh, on just stop oil protests or something like that. Well, isn't that, that right? Know? I mean, wasn't it really funny? It gave you a real insight into Sadiq Khan and the inner workings of, of the public sector mind where he said that, you know, the ULEZ um, clean air solution to everything is going to mean that people who work as tradespeople will take less time off because they won't be so ill. He fails to understand yes. that people who tend to be tradespeople doing uh, business by themselves, self-employed, don't take days off when they're ill because they can't bloody afford it. No, he said we'd all, we'd all live for longer because we wouldn't have any strokes. I mean, the man is an embarrassment, yeah. and an embarrassment to the Labour Party. I know. I mean, there are probably a few people out there, and viewers watching now, who are tempted to vote Labour at the next election. Now, you know, I'm one of them, to tell you the truth, because... Yeah hard to envisage anyone doing a worse job than the Conservatives have done over the last three or four well, years. Well, you just wait, because there will, there will be yeah. somebody who could do it worse. Um, finally, I'll just uh, remind you of the, of the fact that Freshers' Week is coming up soon, because while you were away, it was declared that Freshers' Week was no longer going to be called Freshers' Week, uh, because it might be uh, giving the wrong impression, i.e. people might think that you just go to university for a week and get completely obliterated by alcohol. Um, and forget what you're supposed to be there for. So guess what? The fun police have decided that they're going to do some things which are against the culture of heavy drinking. For example, they're going to hold, I think this is in a Scottish university, um, a sober Cayley. Now, it seems to me that the only reason to ever go to a Cayley to listen to the <laughs> god-awful singing and watch the terrible dancing is you have to be drunk to enjoy it. <laughs> They're <laughs> remarkable. I mean, I, 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 I have to say, when I went to university, I didn't associate Freshers' Week with just getting drunk. Uh, I associated it with uh, trying to uh, get myself into the university and, and, and find out what the hell I was meant to be doing. Right. I think uh, they, they are determined to stamp out all fun wherever it may exist. Yes. 
Uh, it does seem maybe maybe this is what inspired Barney Borough Council to make themselves a borough of fun. Yes. Maybe we should all go there and get drunk. Uh, I, I just I find it ludicrous. Uh, um, but you know, it's just another one of those things which happens and which. I assume they won't. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're not going to call it Freshers' Week, are they? They're going to call it something no. else. Like, I think they're calling it Welcome Week or some such nonsense. Yeah, I don't understand why Freshers has anything to do with alcohol. No, I mean, uh, uh, does it? Is there a? Well, I think a... I think they think that people associate it with just people who go to university and drink all day, twenty-four hours a day, and can't remember what they're supposed to be there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, the, the, the trouble is we let so many people into university these days uh, that I suspect a good 50% of them don't know what they're there for anyway. Uh, <laughs> and and, and are paying, paying £40,000, you know, over the course, uh, uh, per year in order to get a degree in, you know, gender studies or yeah. media studies. So uh, carving. Yeah, 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 which is, which is what we do these days instead of work. Yeah, exactly right. Well, listen, Rod, good to see you back. Uh, good, good luck with the you. diet, and uh, we shall keep tabs on one another, I dare say, over the course of the next week or so. Rod Little, uh, great column in the sun today. Uh, go and get yourself a copy and read it, because it's very funny.